welcome back. We're going to take a look at my favorite gravid boa constrictor. This is Roxanne. She is my uh, blood salmon. She is due to drop her litter on or around May 7th. So a little over two months away, I guess. Here it is, what, March 5th? Um, she had her post-ovulatory shed. I counted the 105 days. Takes us to May 7th, usually in my experience. Um, that's going to be fairly accurate. Um, with uh, my super salmon girl, Farah, who had a number of litters, most of the time she was either right on schedule, maybe a day early, maybe a day late, but uh, still fairly close to that, to that date. Um, so this girl uh, is obviously a visual blood and a visual salmon. She's got really good scale separation. So we will see uh, what she drops for babies. Hopefully uh, not a lot of slugs, not a lot of unfertilized eggs. And when I say eggs, um, boa constrictors actually deliver live young. They all come out in like a, like a membrane type sac. They don't actually come out in an egg that has to be incubated like a ball python um, or a reticulated python. Um, really interesting because reptiles in general are usually egg layers, but you got your anacondas, your garter snakes, your rattlesnakes, and your, you know, your boa constrictors that produce live babies that come out and they're just ready to go. So uh, real interesting where you got, you know, when I think of reptiles, I think of dinosaurs, you know, like crocodiles and alligators. So um, hopefully I'm going to prove her out to be a dominant or super salmon. The way we're going to do that is if one baby comes out and has a non-salmon coloration and looks more like the dad who is a motley uh, carrying the recessive gene for blood, then we know she is not a dominant or super salmon. Um, if all the babies come out and they've got a splash of that salmon color on them, then we know she's a dominant salmon. So we'll get a mixture of, um, of bloody salmons like her, bloody salmon motleys with the pattern like the dad. We'll get uh, salmon bloods, blood motleys. Um, and if, uh, if she's not, then we're going to see a regular blood come out or a regular hypomelanistic salmon to come out. A um, little harder to tell with those, or like I said, just a normal motley that looks like the dad. So that's how we'll be able to um, find out whether or not she is in fact a super or dominant salmon. So the salmon gene is a co-dominant gene. So you've, got, um, you've got a super version, which is the dominant version, then you've got the co-dom where if you breed, say, a normal-looking boa constrictor, like a normal, wild-looking boa constrictor, to, say, her, and the babies come out, some of them are salmon and some of them look like the normal, then you know that's not a dominant, so it's a codom salmon, and that's how you prove them out. So anyway, uh, we'll be excited for May 7th. Stay tuned. I'll be doing all these little updates, and then... Uh, when she finally has her babies, I'm going to do a nice long video where I edit everything together from the breeding all the way up until um, her, you know, her delivering the baby. So, all right. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, be safe out there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I would, I would be very grateful if you would do that. And ring the bell for future video uh, subscription notifications. All right. Take care. Have a great day.